Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into a daily read. We're here to talk about Saturday or thereabout. Let's begin and pull an oracle or two uh, right from the middle because this deck is a bit stiff. We're beginning with transformation. Absolutely beautiful. It feels like this day is changing the game for you. You have the chance to wake up and begin and continue this Saturday, uh, excuse me, Saturday differently than you have been, right? In comparison to the previous days, uh, maybe previous weeks. Um, you're feeling stern, but uh, I'm hearing powerful and uh, passionate, but peaceful all the meanwhile. Look at this imagery. It's a little bit spooky, but um, I'm feeling the dogs representing uh, two of your, uh, um, specifically two of your main spirit guides. You're very protected at this time in the midst of a transitional period uh, feeling like it's maybe different levels of things transitioning for you, but a continued um, uh, transformation of your individual path and way of being, living, and experiencing all the meanwhile. Very interesting beginning. And also I feel like the day does involve, at least in one if not multiple ways, you needing to accept and be one with uh, certain responsibilities. Um, or maybe one big responsibility. Anyways, um, let's continue and pull some tarot. Um, doing a flop that actually felt beautiful in energy. The tower card. It feels like you're preparing for a tower moment. You know, I know a lot of readers do uh, instill fear into a lot of souls out there in regards to the tower card energy. But a lot of the times in my readings are, for the most part, this really comes through positively because endings are simply a part of life. Um, what if you knocked over the tower yourself is what I'm hearing? Um, what if you took a leap into something new that you're not expecting or even preparing for? I feel like you are preparing for, but you're not actually um, uh, knowing of the preparation process, if you will. Uh, what if you leaped into something new um, in a very, um, I'm hearing sporadic, but uh, spontaneous is the wording, a spontaneous kind of way down the line. What if that sparked something that you um, really needed, right? Or need uh, something uh, that you didn't know you wanted all the meanwhile. I don't know why that just came out, but the Page of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Moon card, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. It feels like limitation is going to be no longer for you being drawn to this reading, for a lot of which I feel this is tied into your finances. Um, uh, stemming from it, I do feel as if this could be due to your own uh, self-limitations and restrictions due to, I would uh, say, your past, right? Um, you maybe definitely, uh, I hate when that happens, um, that was very contradicting. Uh, it could absolutely uh, pertain to certain levels of fear for some drawn to the reading, worry, concern. You do know you're limiting yourself um, and restricting yourself when you fear and worry about what lies ahead and whatnot, okay? But um, let's actually show the cards. Look at this. In an emotionally filling kind of way, you're gaining insight, all right? You're learning more about yourself and I want to say your individual path. Why did it have to end up the way it ended up? Because it was purposeful, because that's simply the way things were. Sometimes it's about uh, being open to the clarity, the insight that you're meant to gain, but then accepting the mystery from the past and in regards to your future and just proceeding uh, in a very strategic way, period. Because you're not always going to have the answers and that's just life but it feels like as well for somebody you're this is taking a love oriented kind of um, direction now you're learning more about a significant other in your life uh, this doesn't have to be romantic uh, love or anything of the sort um, but it definitely could be um, for somebody specifically it's a family member um, or a soulmate otherwise but you're learning more about this person. They've been going through it, all right? Or they just have been through it. And now they're kind of stepping into clear, clear waters, right? Um, a less foggy direction is basically what's coming through in more than one way, 
right? Definitely could pertain to that connection that we were just speaking upon for a lot drawn to the reading. But you individually, right? Let's step forward in, or I'm hearing swim as I was just shown somebody swimming like that. Um, let's swim towards uh, more so less foggy waters, uh, right? More uh, insight once again in just feeling uh, more level-headed and in charge, right? Because to kind of continue the aquatic uh, imagery, you're really uh, steering your own ship, okay? Um, uh, you are in control once again. I feel the need to continuously remind you of that, right? And they're saying once again, I feel the need to um, to remind you that part of the transformation of your individual path is putting things to rest, allowing for yourself to create tower moments to the point where you change the outcome for the better. You change your life for the better, your path, your world as a whole. Because imagine if things rewinding back stayed the same, would you have better results after the fact, you know, up until this point, you know, between now and then? no right so therefore we allow for um things to change when we don't have full or um yeah full control or control at all but um then therefore otherwise moving forward throughout this period this day even specifically what do you want to do differently what should you be doing differently what can you be doing uh more of less of things like this are coming to mind as i do a little bit of a weird move there Anyways, um, the Ace of Wands and the, um, the Eight of Swords, because in the midst of what feels like preparation for new passion, new beginnings, um, things of importance to be sparked and changed once again, you're feeling a little bit limited, uh, like we had mentioned before when these cards first came out. But it doesn't mean that this needs to remain the same. It doesn't mean that you, you know, think about it, for example, I'm getting... If you're sitting there in discomfort and you're feeling stiff, I know that it's not always easy in the moment to shake out of that and to switch up your energy and way of feeling, way of being, you know, but are you really realistically meant to or wanting to sit in that discomfort, that stiff way of being? No, you start to, to shift, you start to move, you start to change things to the point where you're feeling more loosey-goosey is what spirit loves to give me these days. Um, but just feeling that flow and uh, different energy coming uh, to be within your world, right? Coming back to be even. So it's just an, uh, an example, you know, because uh, like Spirit's been saying in this reading, things need to, uh, need to change. And we spoke upon that to an extent in the previous daily read, but um, sometimes you need to hear it in a different way. And sometimes you need to hear it multiple times. Um, moving right on forward, magic is the word they're highlighting, okay? Magic. Um, the recent full moon is coming to mind because I feel like it did you uh, a world of justice. It did you a world of wonders um, is now what I'm getting because it definitely puts you, for being drawn to this reading for a lot, uh, in a state of emotion, reflecting, and uh, even more so or in general pushed you to be one with the transition that your path, your world is even more so at this point throughout this day um, going through. I feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit hidden in the dark when it comes to a lack of options or a lack of um, yeah clarity, but then insight comes in. It's you needing to stand in the midst of this mystery and uh, they're saying justice all the meanwhile and just own the fact that you've made your choices and they're saying live up to them but then just move forward and uh, realize the truth or remember the truth that actually lies within you need to remember being drawn to this reading that you have an intuition uh, that literally grows by the day okay it's even enhanced by certain spirits even outside of your team of guides to the point where you can use it to improve the game for yourself all right this day reminds you of how purposeful your path is how purposeful your uh way of being at this point is how you're changing within and how things are transforming for you outside of your physical way of being very interesting reading 
Um, I'm now hearing change is the name of the game. So if this was truly helpful, I'll definitely see you next time.